Ranger. Fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. There's a good spot, Tunnel. Well, Tom, this looks like a good place for our campsite. And it's near town. We'll stay here. We hope we get here in time to help stop more stagecoach holdups. Six holdups in the last few weeks. It's no wonder new settlers are afraid to come out here. We not blame them, Kimisabi. Men not want to open new business, or there's no safe way to ship freight out of town. Whoever's behind these holdups is very clever. The newspaper says the sheriff's been on his trail for months now. Also the Texas Rangers, but they still have no line on him. Strange Texas Rangers not catch them. Don't underestimate the Texas Rangers, Tonto. They usually get their man. But this time, they may need a little help. You want me to ride into town and see what me can learn? Yes, that's a good idea. And you'd better pick up some supplies. While you're gone, I'll make camp. Let me go now. Come back fast. No, say it again. Come on, say it again. Be reasonable, Randy. I only said... Come I on. I heard you the first time. You said we can't find these outlaws because we don't want to. You said we're afraid of them. No one ever called that Texas Ranger a coward and got away with it. Say it again. No one outwits the law forever. Some clever crooks at the head of this outlaw gang. We haven't got them yet, but we will. You hear me, Grayson? You're not talking, huh? Well, let this be a lesson to you. Never a minute goes by when we're not on the job. And don't you forget it. Tyler. Tyler, what's all this about? Well, Captain, he was saying things against the Rangers. Since when does any Ranger resort to violence to settle a dispute? You're here to protect these citizens, not to attack them. Well, he called me a coward, sir. All of us. That doesn't give you any right to strike him. He's entitled to his opinion, no matter how wrong it may be. You mean I've got a knuckle under to any little pipsqueak who calls me names? I mean you've got to control yourself under all conditions. A Ranger who flies off the handle endangers the lives of all his comrades. Now apologize to this man, then confine yourself to quarters to await further orders. Apologize? I'll never do that, sir. Are you defying my orders? I'd rather be thrown out of the Rangers than obey an order like that. Very well, Tyler. You get your wish. A dishonorable discharge. You'll regret this, Captain Prescott. I'll give you good reason to. Boys, we may have a new recruit, and one we can make good use of. I'm going to see the boss. And then, Captain of Texas Rangers, fire him on spot. That's strange. You don't know how it started? No, me come out of store, watch fight, and Captain fire him. Did you hear his name? Him named Tyler. Tyler? Not young Randy Tyler. You know him, Kimisami? Not personally, Tunnel. But I remembered when he joined the Rangers. There's been a lot of talk about him. He's made a fine reputation. I am not Ranger anymore. I don't think Tyler would start a fight without good reason. He wouldn't deliberately invite disgrace. There must be more to it. Will you find out, Kimisami? Yes. The Texas Rangers need men like him. I'd hate to see them lose him. That's right. You ride back to town, see what you can learn, and be careful. Me do. Randy, you did a fine job outside that cafe. You sure did. I can still feel that last wallop. I'm sorry, Grayson. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. I had to make it look real. You're sure nobody in town knows Grayson's a ranger, too? I'm sure of it. That's why I picked him. You think this will really smoke out the outlaws, sir? We can only hope so. A former Texas ranger who wants revenge should be useful to them. You understand what you're to do now? Yes, sir. Hang out in some obvious place where anybody who wants me can find me. Right. And Randy, be careful. These outlaws, whoever they are, wouldn't hesitate to kill you if they suspect a trick. Don't worry, sir. I can take care of myself. I'll try to get word to you of whatever happens. Good luck, Randy. Thanks. What's on your mind, Gat? A big brawl in town today? Uh-huh. It could be interesting, Roof. Really? Why should I be interested in a brawl? That's frequent news around here. I know that. But this one's different. It was a Texas Ranger. That kicked off the force right in front of everybody. 
Something he'll never live down. But, Gad, I'm a busy man. You're wasting my time. But you don't get the point. This guy could be valuable to us. How? Well, I was thinking that he must hate the Rangers for what they did to him. And you figure that he wants revenge. That's right. Maybe he hates him enough to help us make the Fillmore stage and freight line the only line operating in San Antonio. Texas Ranger, huh? Uh-huh. But why not? Once a Ranger, always a Ranger. You can't trust him. Listen, Roof. We lost Rusty and Duke on that last job because the Rangers were hot on our trail. We need a guy like this, Tyler, for our own good. Go ahead and feel him out on the idea. But remember this. He's not to know that I'm the head man. Plenty of time to tell him that when we're sure we can trust him. You leave it to me. He'll be glad to get the job. Don't forget what I told you about Texas Rangers. Watch him. How do we know this isn't a frame-up to trap us? Keep your eye on him every minute. How'd you know about that? I saw it happen. You're looking for a job? Maybe. How'd you like to go to work for me? What's the deal? Short hours, good pay, lots of excitement. Keep talking. And a chance to get even with the Texas Rangers. Yeah? I think I could be interested. Let's get out of here. I know a safer place to talk. Well, Tonto, did you find out any more about Tyler? I am not know why him fight, but one of the men who see if I talked to him. Where was that? In cafe. Him pushed me out of doorway and then talked to Tyler. What did he say? Uh, him make job for Tyler. What kind of a job? Not say. Him say plenty of excitement and chance to get even with Rangers. Then them leave cafe and ride off together. Get even with the Rangers, eh? I don't like the sound of that. Uh, me think it mean trouble too, Kimasabi. I've been reading this newspaper over very carefully. Some of the facts about these robberies have given me a few more clues that I overlooked. What facts do you mean? For one thing, all of these holdups have occurred within 20 miles of here. That means the outlaw gang may be getting their orders from someone in town. What we do? The Fillmore stage and freight line here in San Antonio is the only line that hasn't been attacked. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Uh, what else papers say? This paper says they're extending their line and increasing their rates because business is so good. Uh, people think them safer to deal with, maybe. Yes, and they're gaining an almost complete monopoly of the freight line business. Once they do that, they can raise their prices sky high. People will have no choice but to pay. If you think them crooked, Kimasabi, how you get proof one way or other? If my suspicions are correct, I have a plan that will bring the outlaw gang into action. What kind of plan? I'm going to put on a disguise and go into town and talk to Mr. Fillmore about a very important shipment. Buenos dias, senor. Come in, come in. Gracias. What can I do for you, sir? I have come about a shipment. Oh, fine. Won't you have a seat, Mr. Uh, Don Mendoza. You, perhaps, are the manager of the freight line? That's right. I'm the manager and owner. I'm Rufus Fillmore. So, that is good. Uh, this shipment I have to make, it is most important that it arrive safely and on time. <laughs> you see, I have the commitment to meet. If it's safe and sure delivery you want, you've come to the right place. Bueno. I have heard your company is very reliable. Of course, there will be more than one shipment. Oh. How does it happen that we've never heard of you, Mr. Mendoza? Oh, I have not been long in San Antonio. Oh. Now uh, we discuss the price. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, what are you shipping? What I ship is not important. Perhaps I send many cases in a week, each uh, 50 pounds in weight. The first shipment tomorrow to Corpus Christi. Now, uh, what will you charge? Well, our rates depend on the weight and the size of the freight. If your packages are not too large, they'll cost you a hundred dollars apiece. Perhaps if the other express company in town would not charge so much. They've been having a good deal of trouble lately with holdups. They don't employ as many guards as I do. Uh, that I know, senor. But I must take the chance. 
If their rates are not much cheaper, I come back. Adios. Get mugs. What's up, Roof? Listen, there's a well-dressed Mexican just in here about shipping some cases to Corpus Christi. What's so different about that? It'll mean a lot of money to us if we can get his business regular. Only he seems to think that our prices are too high. Well, don't tell me he was foolish enough to go see your competitor. Yeah. He's over there now arranging things. They've got a stage leaving tomorrow afternoon. I got another job to do, Gat. I get you. What a sweet setup. You make a lot of money out of your own stage line and still more by selling what we steal from the others. There's only going to be one way to ship and to travel around here, and that's the Fillmore stage and freight line. Once we get a monopoly, we can make everybody pay through the nose. Or they can see their freight right on the street for lack of transportation. Haven't we stopped every stage that left here for the past six weeks? Yeah. We'll just add this one to our list. I'll see that you do. Oh, and uh, tell Phil and that fellow Tyler to be ready tomorrow afternoon. Uh, what about Tyler? How's he working out? Just fine, Roof. I got him at the hideout. He's sure anxious to get even with them rangers. Can't wait till we pull a job so he can make fools out of them. Good. Maybe he will work out, but don't trust him too far. Not until he's had a chance to prove himself. Don't worry. We'll take no chances. What you find out, Kimisami? Plenty, Toto. I left Fillmore with the impression that I was going to ship those cases by a rival express company because of a cheaper rate. And what him say? I noticed he didn't try very hard to change my mind. You think maybe him have gang hold up express stage? That's what I'm hoping, Toto. If Fillmore is connected with the outlaw gang, I have a plan to trap him and expose the rest of the gang. Now, what's your plan? Tomorrow you ride to the edge of town, wait until the stage leaves. Then go to the sheriff's office. Tell him you saw a masked man follow the stage outside of town. Wait there at 10... What's the matter, kid? Getting jumpy? No, oh, anybody get jumpy stuck in a chicken coop like this. Let's get going. Take it easy, Tyler. We gotta wait for Muggs to get here. If he doesn't come soon, we'll miss the stage. We haven't missed one yet. We don't plan on missing this one either. The uh, boss joining us on this job? No. Why not? Because he don't have to. He plans them and we work them. It's a lot safer that way. When am I going to get to meet him? Why is this guy such a big secret? He's no secret. He'll meet him soon enough. How soon? Maybe after we finish the job today. That is, if you do a real good job. Don't worry about me. Every successful holdup's another black mark against the Texas Rangers. And there's nothing I'd like better. Someone's coming. It's okay, it's mugs. Well, what's the word? Stage leaves in two hours. If we start now, we can get there in plenty of time. Good. Let's get going. I got a score to settle. I tell you, we got to catch them owl hoots before everyone's out of business. Well, Indian, what do you want? Me come tell you about masked man who follows stage on South Trail. Masked man? Are you sure? Me sure. Me think stage get held up. You hear that, Mac? Yeah, I heard him. But I think this Indian's having hallucinations. He's just guessing. Me see him. Him wore a mask, follow stage. You know, Mac, he may be telling the truth. That masked hombre might be one of the gang we've been hunting. You come see? Sounds funny to me, though, that the Indian's the only one who saw him. Yeah, but he may be right. Me no lie. You come quick. Got plenty of proof. All right, Indian, we'll go after him. But you'd better be right or I'll personally take you back to the reservation. Come on. We'll let our guide here lead us. We'll wait here, Muggs. You ride on ahead and meet Phil. Okay, I'll see you later. Come on. Go. Stage will be along any minute. You sure you understand the plan? Sure. You and I watch the coach go by to make certain nobody's following it. And we join up with Muggs and Phil after they ambush it, in case they need any help. Just make sure nothing goes wrong, Tyler. The boss will want a report on how well you do. I know, I know. Sounds like the stage's coming now. Easy, Silver. Come on, boy.
We'll wait a few minutes. You never can tell when there's a guard riding behind. Never leave anything to chance, eh, Gad? That's right. Any sign of danger, we make a fast getaway. How do you always manage to cover your trail? Riding the creeks, that's how. Riding the creeks. You gotta be smart. Think of everything. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. Who's this? Hold everything until we get this guy straightened out. That's far enough, mister. Mast, huh? Get off that horse and keep him lifted high. It's the idea. You figured on pulling the one-man job holding up that stage? Maybe. You now, we could have plugged you from behind them boulders, but I was curious to know what you are up to. I thought for a minute he was one of the gang. You know better than that, Tyler. You've seen everybody but the boss. Now, talk fast, mister. So your name is Tyler? The same man that was kicked out of the Texas Rangers? What about it? I happen to have a lot of respect for the Rangers, Tyler. I know how resourceful they can be when they want to. You know an awful lot for someone we never saw before. Right now, we got no more time to waste on you. You're messing up our plans. We got to get rid of them. What are you going to do? Shoot him. What else? Oh, now, wait a minute, Gad. You can't just shoot a man down in cold blood. Why not? I... Maybe the boss was right about you after all. He said once a Ranger, always a Ranger. Well, now I'm going to give you a chance to prove whose side you're on. Yeah? How? You put the bullet in them. Yeah. yeah sure, why not? Well, what are you waiting for? Keep them covered while I go in a little closer. I want to do a nice, neat job of this. Well, that's better. Go on and plug him. Not him, Gad. You! You double-crossing rat. Come on, mister. I don't know who you are, but I got no choice but to trust you. We got to move fast. It was unexpected of you, Tyler. If you joined his gang, why did you shoot him? We'll talk while we ride. The others are waiting in the basin to hold up the coach. Let's tie up this hombre and leave him here. We can pick him up later. Right. Must be time for this stage to be coming through the draw. Must have passed Gett and Tyler by now. Otherwise, they'd have warned us if anything went wrong. I just hope Gett didn't make a mistake when he let that hombre join us. Gett knows what he's doing. Don't worry. And if that guy Tyler ain't on a level, it'll be just too bad for him. Hey. There it is now. There it is. Okay, let's go. There they are. You better sneak up on them and take them by surprise. Right. Let's get the box and get out of here. Drop that box and reach. Now get over there next to your friend and relax. Sheriff will be along any minute now. Tyler, you keep them covered while I look inside the coach and make sure nobody's been hurt. No passengers. Stay right where you are, mister. And you, Tyler, drop that gun. What are you doing here, boss? I told you I didn't trust this ex-Texas Ranger. I had to make sure, so I came out ahead of you. All right, you with the mask. Drop those guns and get over there. No tricks. Muggs, take that mask off him. I want to see what that hombre looks like. All right, boss. when he gets fixed up. I reckon we finished our job then. Just in time, too. There comes the sheriff. Don't make a move. We got you covered. Just a minute, Sheriff. If I were trying to defend myself, I could have shot you first. These are the men you want. Injun, ain't that the masked hombre you told me about? That's right. Him sent me to get you. These men hold up stage. The Indian's right, Sheriff. I can vouch for the masked man. And who are you? My name's Tyler. Tyler. Ain't you the bird what got kicked out of the Texas Rangers? Just a minute, Sheriff. I want to show you something that'll explain the situation. Here. A badge, eh? To whom it may concern. 
Randy Tyler was expelled from the Texas Rangers according to a plan known only to me and my junior officer, Lieutenant Grayson. This was done in the line of duty in an attempt to find the gang operating in the vicinity of San Antonio. This letter is his authority to act as a Texas Ranger in good standing. Signed, H.M. Prescott, Captain. Well, I'll be Dad Byrne. This is the whole gang, Sheriff, except for one man. You'll find him tied up back along the trail. There's the leader of the gang, owner and manager of the Fillmore Stage and Freight Lines. Rufus Fillmore. Handcuff these outlaws, Mac. Then we'll go back and pick up the other one. They can all get together then for a long, long stretch. You don't feel quite so frisky, do you, Fillmore? You don't have to worry about committing yourself. You're already committed, probably for the rest of your life. Tyler, I sort of wondered about you back on the trail. But now I know how proud the Texas Rangers are of you. Thanks, mister. And I sure am grateful to you for your help. My thanks, too. Folks here will be mighty pleased we got this gang clamped behind them bars. Now maybe we can settle down to some peaceful living. I hope so, Sheriff. Good luck, Tyler. Well, Tyler, we'd better be on our way. Adios. Reckon you're going to be quite a hero when you report back to the Texas Rangers. I don't deserve to be. That masked man's the one who really cracked this case wide open. Sure strange to hear a Texas Ranger giving credit to a masked hombre. You talk like you know who he is. Well, there's only one man he could be. Only one man who tries to do so much for the West. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello,